Whether you're a new fan or an old head like me, there really is not a wrong way to enjoy Beyblade. You could like making the most competitive combos or making a combo that's bad, but it's fun. You could like Hasbro, you could like Takara Tomy. There's multiple anime series over multiple generations, over 20 years of Beyblade to enjoy. However, there is one type of Beyblade fan that it's the hardest to be, and that is a collector. <laughs> as a Beyblade YouTuber, I try and collect as many Beyblades as I can throughout every single generation, but getting some of the older stuff is pretty hard. We're in the third generation, which is Beyblade Burst, and even some of the earlier Burst releases are expensive, some of the random booster prizes are crazy expensive, but as we go back in time to the plastic generation, 1999-2000 era, stuff gets pretty wild. It gets crazy. Black Dronzer, $100. Dragoon GT, over $100. And if you wanted one of those new in box, it's gonna cost you a kidney. But there is one line from the plastic generation that goes above the rest in terms of their rarity, and that is the HMS series. There are a couple that are kind of affordable, but for the most part, their value is extreme, with some of them going over a thousand dollars. But there's one HMS Bay in specific that I do want to talk about, and that is Dragoon MSUV, or Dragoon Metal Storm Ultimate Version. So, if I were interested in buying a Dragoon MSUV, let's look it up on eBay, see how much it would cost. So the first listing, we can see it is $250. We have some stickers, which I will talk about later. $420 for a lime green version. $625, $339, $1,000 for one that is brand new. Another one that's $1,100. Overall, you could tell the prices are insane. This bay is extremely expensive. Guys, it might be time to break out the Gucci wallet. I spent all my money on the Gucci wallet. So maybe there's just nothing we can do. We can't really afford to go and spend hundreds of dollars on a single bay, up to several hundred dollars if you want it new or in box. But what if I told you I got Dragoon MSUV for a fraction of the cost? 3D modeler Benchblade here on YouTube has been spending tons of time creating his own lineup of HMS bays along with rebuilding Takara Tomy designs from the ground up. I had one of his videos pop up in my recommended and I decided to reach out to him and buy a Dragoon MSUV. And what I got was insane. First up, every part of this is 3D printed, including the metal pieces, which are actually printed in steel instead of like a zinc alloy that the original HMS bays use which over time can crack or break and they become kind of fragile, but this is steel. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. And since everything is 3D printed, if a part of your Dragoon were to break, you could just go to a shop and get a replacement piece. Stickers were included as well, but I decided to go with stickers from Taylor Blades. Uh, he actually has his own eBay shop if you need replacement stickers for one of your bays, and they're really high quality. I used the ones from Taylor Blades instead of Bench Blade because they were just a little bit higher quality and definitely more sharp. So when you put the bay all together, it just looks amazing. The steel is super shiny. The bay is pretty heavy as well, which is nice, and it's really durable feeling. And if a part breaks, like I said, is go and buy a replacement on his shop. However, there are a couple of issues I do want to talk about. First up, we have the tip. Now, the original tip on Dragoon MSUV is a rubber, and this is kind of like a rubber-like material, but it's not going to be the same as the official one, so performance is going to be a little bit different. Also, if there happens to be like any WBO tournaments or anything that are HMS related, I don't think you could use these because they're not an official Takara Tomy release. But for the 99% of Beyblade fans that just like Beyblades and not necessarily competing with them, this is pretty perfect and it's a way to get an extremely sought after Bay for a fraction of the cost. If Takara Tomy was to ever re-release this stuff for whatever reason, I would jump on it, everybody would buy it, but they're not going to. So instead of spending $600 from someone on eBay reselling something, why not support a small creator for a fraction of the price? Now this is where I would do a test battle, but to be honest with you, 
I, I only have two HMS bays, and one of them's made out of steel, and one of them is not. So I don't know if I want to risk breaking anything. But if you like this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, definitely go check out Bench Blade along with Taylor Blades. Links in the description. I'll also leave a link to Derek's GT, who has probably one of the best, if not the best, HMS collections I have ever seen. Uh, he's been helping me out learn more about this whole lineup, and I just appreciate it. So I'm going to leave him in the description as well. But I will see you guys in the next one. Have fun and bay away.